Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, OJ, the snake, Connor. I'm feeling good today. I've lost six pounds in 11 days. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Uh, yeah, man. Awesome. I'm, and I'm feeling good today because the staff member we're going to introduce. Uh, don't, don't give it away. Makes don't, my don't heart away. flutter. Don't give it away. Okay, don't give it away. Makes yet. my heart go uh, pitter-patter. So maybe he is giving it away. Hey, share this on your platforms on all your different areas so we can get the word out. we got a couple of things we're going to be mentioning here in just a minute. Um, what, what what are the couple things you said you had grief and membership? grief support is going to be moved to the 21st we're expecting some inclement weather that's my new word for this week inclement oh, it's growing we're, we're growing. expecting some inclement weather this weekend and so we're going to move grief support to the 21st and then we also have membership on the 21st uh, if you've been wanting to take membership Send me an email, jakeatsummonheightsfellowship.com. If you're in the service on Sunday, you can sign up on the communication card. Uh, I've already had a few folks interested in that, and I know there's more of you out there. So make sure you get with me on that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, you mentioned that inclement weather that's coming in. I think the high Sunday is going to be like 30 degrees, uh, so dress warm. Uh, as you come to church this week at the 9 o'clock and the 11 o'clock, and so make sure, you know, Dressing up good on that. So I wonder if our attendance will be low. I, We're know, not a Baptist church, so it shouldn't scare you off. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, you ready to uh, man I'm, introduce our staff member? I today? just hope I don't pass out uh, from you know. Well, you act that way around me. Not so, really. I mean, you know, I, I appreciate not that really. at times. Uh, our staff member we want to introduce today is my favorite staff member, um, honestly, uh, of the one of the originals. Two that I one have of the originals. The two that I have with me today, they are my favorite, and so I want to introduce Miss Ashley Connor. Ashley, come on in, come on in. Yeah, this is Ashley Connor. Our I quit it, dude. Would you? Uh, they are married, for those of you that don't know, because uh, that can get weird right there. We don't all act that way on our staff, but uh, they are married. Ashley oversees all of our children's ministry. She's one of our original staff members, been with Summit. Uh, from the, the beginning. From the beginning, from the very first meeting. Uh, and so she is longtime staff member. Now, Ashley, i got to ask this question. Hold on, before you do, I've got some interesting oh, little known facts about Ashley uh, Connor. I've got a little timeline that I put together, some important events in the life of Ashley Connor. Important event number one happened in late September of 2002. That's when she met, for the very first time, the man of her dreams. And then the next important event happened about two weeks after that. That's when she went on her first date with the man of her dreams. And then shortly after that, in December of 2002, she was asked to be married to the man of her dreams. And then the next important event was 53 weeks later on December 20th, 2003, she married the man of her dreams. And then, in 2006, she welcomed her firstborn child, a son, with the man of her dreams. And then in December of 20, no, 2009, 2009, she welcomed her second child, a daughter, with the man of her dreams. A little timeline I put together for you. Now you know more about Ashley. Wow, you, you want to add anything to that? I don't think he covered it. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> um, so, Ashley, how tall are you? Um, a little under five feet. How short am I is probably the better question. It, well, I was trying to help you, you know. <laughs> I was going to bring a bigger stool in here today, so, you know, all that. Because I know some of you guys, uh, even still, see Ashley and they think she's one of our kids. And so that's a blessing because you still are young and... So all, kids name. Although she will yeah. turn 40 this year. Dude, you did not you just, you bus. just, the whole man of your dreams <laughs> thing, you just lost one. That's why I wanted to sit between y'all. No, today. see, and I bring that up because I think, I mean, she looks fantastic for almost 40. I mean, like very, very fantastic, fantastically Beautiful. So, so here's a couple of things about Ashley and Jake that y'all may not know. I've known Ashley since she was in what grade? Ninth grade, maybe Probably something like that. I was a youth pastor in Longview, Texas, and Ashley grew up in Longview. And Ashley hung out with a bunch of our girls in our ministry. 
And so I've been around her. She's little known fact, I'll go further back than Jake. She's a phenomenal basketball player. Now I know five foot, you're thinking Spuds McKenzie, <clears throat> that kind of deal. I'm just dating myself there. Spud uh, Webb. Spud Webb. Uh, Spud McKenzie was the uh he was the he was the Budweiser dog. dog. Yeah, he was the yeah. Budweiser. We don't talk so, about I'm alcohol. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Spud Webb. Uh, she still plays basketball. In fact, uh, Jake got a text the other day talking about his wife is still a baller. Uh, I was with a guy the other day and said, "Dude, that Ashley Connor can still get after it." So uh, don't underestimate her on the basketball and court even now. You don't, you don't know this because she spends all of her time in back in the children's ministry, but she is a phenomenal vocalist as well. Yes, she is. She sings. She does children's ministry. There's probably not a whole lot she can't do. I'll be honest. Great with you. cook. Uh, great absolutely. mom. Absolutely. Okay, so so Ashley, Ashley, we've asked this question every week, and so I, I want to ask you this question, and I already know the answer. Uh, that what is your favorite thing? about working at Summer House. Again, I know your answer is going to be you have a phenomenal boss and, and and all that good stuff, but no pressure. So what, what is your favorite thing about Summit Heights? I really enjoy that Summit um, wants us to be in the community, and so I enjoy being able to um, just be active in the community and build relationships that way um, to leverage the influence that we have for the Lord and for Summit. So. No, that's all, and I know really it's the, your boss and how much you love him, and you know that, I know that's right, you know that's that <laughs> right under that. So um, I have to, I kind of have something to compete with here today. I mean, look at what he's done here. So um, now, Ashley, you've got uh, children's ministry. Uh, you've got a lot going on right now. There's a couple of things coming up that they can still sign up for. We we didn't get to do children's camp this year. We're we're really praying. Yes. Fingers crossed, arms raised, all that good stuff. We're going to get to do it this year. Talk a little bit about what's going on right now and, and what you got coming up. Yeah, so um, any kiddo that's third through fifth grade, um, they can go to preteen camp. And so you have until February 20th, which is just um, till the next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, to sign up early. And if you sign up early, it's like getting free $20. So hey, I'm all down for that. 20. I like free 20 Definitely sign your kiddo up. And then um, we also, for um, those who are going to camp, we're having a paint party fundraiser. Basically, an instructor's there. You get a canvas and you get to paint. They make you look like a great painter. Even even though you might not be. Is that paint by numbers? It's very close. It's kind of like I make Edward look like a great close, pastor, yeah. that kind of concept yeah. thing going on. Same thing, the same thing, we're close. So you can register for that by Monday. And so that helps our kiddos go to camp. It's a great way if you have some girlfriends that want to get together, mother, daughter, whatever, um, come and paint. And so we also are having small groups on Wednesday nights, they alternate, and that's been a great time to watch our kids just gel and enjoy having fun together and building relationships and then of course we're back on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock and um, hopping and having a great time. So that Wednesday night you're doing that's an online thing too is that right? Where kids we can do join. have online um, Zoom Miss Barbara Ernst and John Wilhite run that and so um, we have some kids local kids that do that but a lot of the kids that are joining are kids that their families have moved and um, they're joining in from you know, Montana, from Alaska, from wow. Missouri, or wherever. Um, and so, yes, you can Zoom if you don't want to send your kiddo on Wednesday night or can't for whatever reason. But other than that, we would love to see them in person. Yeah, that's so cool, so cool that you can do that. And so you may be watching this somewhere in the country and have uh, children kin kindergarten, kindergarten, kindergarten through uh, fifth grade. And if you do, you can join in that. And if we don't have your contact information, you can uh, send us in your contact information on our website and we can get you registered for all of the video updates, our uh, bulletins, our worship, all that good stuff that's going on. And, and you can join in on that. You have a Facebook page. Uh, have a Facebook page. Um, those emails that Edward's talking about, there is um, an, the bulletin email for KidVenture and it gives you all the information for each week. and all the links to join in for Zoom, um, online worship if you want to do that at home with your kids. Any, it has everything that you need to know. That's so cool, so cool. Now, before, uh, I, I want to honor them, uh, both of these guys here, and I want to share something with you guys, but before I do, I also want to mention that we do have Miss Joanne Clark's uh, service this Saturday 
morning at 10 a.m. and I want to ask you to please wear a mask for that. There's a lot of people coming in from out of town. That will also be broadcast live on our Facebook page if you can join in for that. So please uh, honor the family by wearing masks at that service. Uh, it's gonna be a great service. We love Miss Joanne. What an incredible legacy of children's ministry uh, of all the years and uh, that she has served. And so be praying for Mike and their girls uh, this Saturday as we'll be doing that service. Now I wanna honor this couple. Uh, they don't know I'm, what I'm about to do or what I'm about to say, but um, both of them have been with Summit Heights from the very beginning. And so we, they bring a wealth of experience, incredible staff members. Um, I was telling somebody yesterday, I'm so grateful as a pastor to have long-term staff members. And these two here are not only staff, they're, they're some of my best friends. They're, they're what we call family. Um, our kids uh, have grown up together, but they're leaving at the end of this month to go on a sabbatical. Uh, every five years, the elders give uh, our executive staff a um, sabbatical, and this is Jake's year, and every seven years, our ministry staff, this will be your first sabbatical, and so these two guys are gonna go on sabbatical, and I'm so excited they're gonna not answer your emails, they're not gonna answer your phone calls, they're not gonna respond because they're gonna go rest, and they've got all kinds of things planned next month, so excited for you guys. 31 days of golf. I uh, cannot wait. Yeah, and Ashley says no to that because that's about $45 a day. Oh, I've uh, got it covered. On that. I've so, already got, uh, got a plan. i got it worked out. Did you win the lottery or what? So, Me and God got a deal. Listen, when you see these guys over the next couple of weeks before they leave, give them a hug. Uh, I'm so proud of you and the job you've done over the last 16 years and watching you and have known you since we were kids, really because I was a kid too, I wasn't that much older than you. Uh, well, maybe, but um, uh, so uh, I'm proud of you and, and the job you do and what you do here uh, in this community. Uh, school board member, loving on kids, children's pastor, wife, mom, all the things you do. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you and I love you and I love you and I can't wait for you guys to refresh and rest and come back in April. So. Give them love uh, as you see them this Sunday. If you see Miss Ashley walking around, high five or fist bump or hug or whatever you're comfortable doing and uh, let her know how much you appreciate her. I love you. Cannot wait to see you Sunday. Bundle up. It's going to be cold for the next week. And uh, we'll see you Sunday. Love you, Summit.